Step into the astonishing world of China's groundbreaking $760 million mega fish farm in the desert, where innovation defies the odds. Fish thrive in unlikely surroundings, and a hidden oasis becomes a symbol of sustainable aquaculture's boundless potential. Get ready to witness an extraordinary fusion of technology and nature as we delve into the awe-inspiring story of China's $760 million mega fish farm in the desert. In this seemingly impossible setting, prepare to be amazed by a self-contained ecosystem that defies expectations. Join us as we explore this groundbreaking project where innovation thrives and sustainability reigns supreme. China's astounding achievement in developing aquaculture in the desert, despite extreme temperatures and inhospitable conditions, has transformed the barren landscape into a thriving oasis. Through a $760 million investment and strategic planning, China defied expectations and created a successful aquaculture industry. By implementing advanced techniques inspired by Israel's aquaculture advancements, such as open-air ponds and engineered circulating water systems, China overcame the challenges posed by the desert environment. Combining fish farming with desert agriculture, they now cultivate crops like potatoes and even flourish vineyards, alongside the flourishing fish population. This remarkable accomplishment has not only attracted thousands of tourists who admire the unique desert scenery, but also engage them in the ongoing desert conservation efforts. China's triumph serves as a testament to their unwavering determination and innovative approach in transforming the desert into a remarkable oasis. China, the country with the most desert areas in the world, has achieved remarkable success in desert governance. Through the tireless efforts of hundreds of thousands of people over 50 years, a vast desert that was once an uninhabited forbidden zone has been transformed into a thriving oasis. Astonishingly, China has effectively managed over 8,000 square kilometers of desert regions, as documented by official records. Moreover, they have taken bold steps to promote agriculture and animal husbandry in these arid lands. Rice cultivation and substantial herds of cattle and sheep now thrive where barrenness once reigned. This remarkable triumph in desert control has not only improved the lives of millions of pastoralists residing near these areas, but also showcases China's unparalleled expertise in overcoming environmental challenges. China's unwavering determination to overcome challenges knows no bounds, especially when it comes to transforming deserts into thriving ecosystems. Back in 2006, China boldly announced its ambitious plan to pioneer fish farming in the arid desert of Gansu. This barren expanse, characterized by year-round yellow sand and its untamed nature, presented an immense hurdle to conquer. The enormity of this endeavor cannot be overstated, as China encountered numerous setbacks along the way. Hey folks, if you want to see more amazing content like this one, then do not forget to like and subscribe the channel. It will only take max 3 seconds, but will give you access to the curious world of discoveries. Now let's continue. So, dear technology aspirants, before proceeding to the next section of this amazing video, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button below to stay updated with these types of engineering artifacts that have astonished the world. In 2007, China embarked on the first phase of this groundbreaking project, converting 1,200 mu of desert into a breeding base. Overcoming the arduous task of transporting water from nearby villages, China spared no effort in making this vision a reality. It was an undertaking that demanded significant investments in infrastructure, namely the construction of roads, as well as addressing the pressing issue of water scarcity. Initially, the choice to raise tilapia seemed promising due to its resilience. However, the harsh desert climate and the lack of prior experience proved to be formidable adversaries. Regrettably, the first batch of 30,000 fry perished, marking China's first setback in desert aquaculture. The cost was high, with a staggering loss of 20 million US dollars. After a setback, a deep exploration of the reasons paved the way for invaluable knowledge in desert fish farming technology from foreign nations. Desert fish farming is well established in countries like Algeria, where annual aquaculture production reaches an impressive 100,000 tons. Successful projects are also found in Israel, the United States, Mexico, and the Middle East, showcasing their expertise in arid region fish cultivation. In 2008, China sought guidance from Algerian and Israeli experts. Previous failures were attributed to immature technology, fish fry, and water resource challenges. 
testing revealed that Chinese fish couldn't survive in the desert for more than 10 days. However, a rare species of rainbow trout from the Pacific Ocean proved ideal. With exceptional survival skills and a delectable taste, rainbow trout surpassed tilapia and thrived in the desert. Experts have also discovered a glacier on the desert's periphery, solving China's water transportation issue. By diverting melting ice, a cold water fish industry belt formed within the desert, ensuring a sustainable environment for desert fish farming. China's desert aquaculture industry has experienced a remarkable journey towards success, thanks to the collaboration with foreign experts. By implementing innovative strategies and constructing necessary infrastructure, they have pioneered aquaculture in the challenging desert environment. The results achieved in less than two years have been truly astonishing, with a remarkable profit of 20 million US dollars. Moreover, their efforts have had a ripple effect, benefiting the local villagers residing near the desert as they too have ventured into aquaculture. Today, this once barren desert has transformed into a renowned hub for rainbow trout production. Foreign experts have marveled at China's unparalleled aptitude for learning and unwavering determination. In a remarkably short span of time, China has mastered the techniques of desert fish farming, showcasing their incredible prowess. Bolstered by their confidence, in 2012, China embarked on an ambitious mission to expand the rainbow trout farming industry tenfold, introducing a staggering 600,000 fry. Additionally, they initiated the construction of bases and the excavation of river channels to secure more water resources. However, unforeseen circumstances unfolded this year when an unprecedented century flood swept through the desert. The deluge mercilessly engulfed the water diversion project, newly constructed canals, and fish ponds in the industrial park. Tragically, 600,000 fish fry were swept away, causing significant losses for China. China's investment in desert aquaculture instead of utilizing its vast land area is driven by a compelling vision to fulfill the desires of desert residents who long for a daily supply of fish. In a world grappling with the devastating effects of global warming, pollution of marine ecosystems, and rampant overfishing, countries are seeking alternative solutions for sustainable aquaculture. And China is no exception. Overfishing has taken its toll on China's fishery sector, resulting in a significant discrepancy between the official catch of 9 million tons annually and the actual catch of over 13 million tons. With a population of 1.4 billion people, China's annual seafood demand exceeds 65 million tons, leading to a shortage of fish within the country and necessitating imports of at least 100,000 tons annually. Recognizing the urgency, China cannot afford to delay the development of aquaculture any further. A fortuitous event, a devastating flood, presented an opportunity for the birth of a desert oasis, emphasizing the importance of effective sand control for successful desert aquaculture. A pristine ecological environment is also crucial for the industry's prospects. After a tremendous flood, an astonishing transformation has occurred in the desert, a transformation that holds immense potential. The once parched land has been drenched, providing an ideal environment for planting trees. Moreover, ingenious measures have been taken to combat future floods by constructing sturdy dikes throughout the desert. This colossal endeavor demanded three arduous years and required hundreds of millions of dollars in investment. Thanks to this ambitious initiative, tens of thousands of acres of precious forests have been rescued and the desert, once consumed by yellow sand for centuries, has blossomed into a rare oasis. China's dedication to this cause is evident as they meticulously devised a three-stage plan for the development of desert fish farming. Initially, open air ponds were constructed to nurture the growth of fish. Subsequently, a semi-closed circulation system was employed to safeguard water resources for fish farming. Lastly, a remarkable breakthrough inspired by Israel's aquaculture prowess was achieved, the utilization of engineered circulating water for fully enclosed fish farming. This cutting-edge technology, centered around water treatment, has propelled China's desert fish farming efforts to resounding success. China has achieved an extraordinary feat by merging fish farming with desert agriculture, paving the way for long-term development of desert fish farms. Remarkably, they have successfully grown potatoes in the desert, yielding a remarkable two-ton annual output. But that's not all. China has also transformed the barren landscape into a thriving oasis with vineyards and a plethora of organic vegetables flourishing in the once arid land.
Adding to its allure, the desert has become a captivating tourist destination, allowing visitors from far and wide to indulge in the mesmerizing desert scenery while savoring the delectable fish. This newfound tourism industry has not only attracted tens of thousands of visitors annually, but has also actively involved them in the crucial task of desert control. The desert, once devoid of life, now teems with vitality. China's exceptional accomplishments in the desert are truly awe-inspiring. It is a testament to their unwavering determination and innovation. Let this remarkable achievement serve as an inspiration for other deserts worldwide. Together, let us transform more desolate landscapes into flourishing oases, creating a greener and more sustainable future for our planet. Lastly, how are the Chinese efforts for the betterment of their masses by utilizing the desserts? Feel free to share your opinion as it is very important for the policymakers to get insights of general public. Till next video, stay tuned and thanks for being with us.